Okay, I'm going to show some examples using the MATLAB image processing toolbox. So we're going to start up MATLAB here. Um, and a couple of the commands that we'll use most often are the um, IM read and IM show. So IM read reads in an image. I'll read in this cameraman.tiff image. Um, and if I look at what that read in, it's a uh, 256 by 256 image. Uh, class is unsigned integer 8 bits. So I can show that using uh, IM show. Um, and that will display the image here. So um, most commonly, images are represented using uh, uint8, but we'll see um, we can also have other types called uh, double, logical, short, etc. So some images um, don't have uh, good contrast like this. So in that case, um, we can use uh, this empty brackets on IM show. So we'll say I empty brackets like that. So this forces MATLAB to display um, the smallest number in the image as black and the largest number as white, regardless of what that number is. If you didn't do that, black would be 0 and white would be 255. Um, OK, so if I wanted to see the values in the image, um, one way to do that with IM show is to type IM pixel info. And what you can see is it brought up a little um, display in the lower left hand corner. As I move the cursor around, it shows me the location on the image as well as the value here. So these bright values are like at 180, the dark values are like 10 or so. Another type of tool we'll see, to, we'll use this IM tool. This is similar to IM show, except it's a, um, it's a more capable um, graphical user interface. For example, you can bring up a pop-up window like this. Um, as I move it around, it shows directly the values that are under it. Um, Okay, so often we want to um, create a synthetic image. Uh, the easiest way to do that is to bring up a um, um, script here. So I'm going to, whoops, I'll just use this. Okay, so I'm going to bring up a script uh, editor and um, start typing my commands. So clear all, close all, um, clears all variables from the workspace and closes all figures. So I'm going to read in the camera man image. No, no, I'm sorry. We're going to create an image. So I'll say zeros of, uh, I don't know, say 256 by 256. And I will go two for loops here. So this says um, go from 1 to 256 by 1s. And now I'm going to, let's say, um, oh, put the value of... Um, Oh, how about uh, C minus 1? OK, so this will create an image where each value depends on the column number. So I'll store that in a script file and then just run it by typing the name, in this case, junk. OK, so that created an image of a uh, synthetic image that's just a ramp like that. Okay, 
Um, let's see, some simple image processing functions. I can do thresholding. Um, so let's say I wanted to generate an image that was black and white. Um, let's take the image we just created. Um, and I want all the values that are bigger than 128. So I can type a expression like i greater than 128. So that is true wherever i that pixel is greater than 128. And I'll sign that, I'll sign that to another image called i2. Okay, so that created a uh, logical image now. And if I display that, Uh, you can see it's just white where the values were greater than that. Um, you can also do things like uh, add constant, add two images together, subtract two images, a constant, and so forth. Um, let's see. We might use um, things like. Um, um, oops, I'm sorry. So we might use a line function like this. So if we want to draw a line on a displayed image, let me get that image back up here. Um, I can say um, line, and I'll start at, I don't know, x100, um, x going to x200, y, uh, I don't know, how about uh, 150 to 150? Okay, so this draws a line that varies in x and is constant in y. And I'll make it a red line. Okay, so you can see it drew a line right here. And uh, so x, of course, is horizontal because, you know, that's what's our convention. Um, I can access any point in here by just um, using row, column, or x and y. So if I used um, x, y, I would go, let's say, uh, I don't know, 10, 100. Uh, I'm sorry, that's row, column. So that gives me a 99. Um, that's, I'm actually accessing uh, i of y, comma, x. OK, so. Often we want to work with higher precision than uh, 8 bits. Our solution will be to convert uh, our images to double. So um, we can do that by just simply casting the image like this or using the im to double command. This actually does a scaling as well as a, a casting. And finally, you saw me use the figure command that opens up a new figure window instead of simply replacing the old figure.